Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, I, I guess I have some explaining to do. If you're watching this particular video, I assume you know who I am, and are probably wondering why it is that I left. You know, I wish I had an actually good excuse, but the fact of the matter is, I don't. There really is no excuse, but there was a reason. And that simple reason was cowardice. If any of you actually remember, towards the end there, I was growing exponentially. Maybe not exponentially in some people's regards, but exponentially in my own. And to be honest, I couldn't actually explain the growth. I couldn't rationalize to myself why people would particularly care about what it was I was doing. You see, I think at the time I was suffering from an inferiority complex, if you will. Not to be one to self-diagnose, but the feelings were similar. I never actually felt good about anything I did towards the end. I always felt that the video topics were boring, I felt the video editing was sloppy, at times, the videos felt unoriginal, the audio sometimes wasn't the best, and lord don't get me started on those thumbnails. So, towards the end, all I could do was critique myself and see everything wrong I was doing in these videos. And yet, with everything I was doing wrong, people were still subscribing at what I would consider an alarming rate. And I started to get it into my head that I was a joke. That may be the only reason why people are here is so they could come and make fun of me. And I know that sounds ridiculous, I know it's a silly thought, but honestly, that's how I felt. I felt that everything I did was unworthy of your guys' time, and that the only reason you would spend time here is simply to get a laugh out of me. To simply come and laugh at how woefully bad I was. But I think... I know what the real problem was. I simply felt bad about not delivering the quality that I thought you guys deserved. And I felt like I just wasn't learning fast enough, I wasn't getting better fast enough for you guys. Part of that was just things going on in my own personal life and my unwillingness to be decisive about what it is that I really wanted. But having spent time away from it, it's something that's never really left my mind. It's almost a double-edged sword, really, because the best and worst part of this is actually you guys. The bad part being that I have responsibilities to bring the best that I can to you. The good and best part of actually being a creator is just seeing the enthusiasm from other people. Knowing that out there, there are people who love the same things that you do. And watching you guys communicate with each other, banter, pitch ideas, it's all... It's fulfilling in a way. And so, I think I need to do what's best for both of us. I think what ultimately crippled me in the end was my own time constraints. I had gotten my mind around the idea that if I didn't put out enough content fast enough, that you guys would inevitably leave me. And for maybe somebody skilled in this and has been doing YouTube for years, it wouldn't be so bad. But I always felt like there was a deadline crunch and ultimately led to a lower quality video in the end. And to be honest, I probably should have just explained that in the beginning. I should never have left and just explained that I had to slow down. So I think that's the new direction I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna move at my own pace and do what I think is right and turn out work that I can be happy with. But that's enough feeling sorry for ourselves, because the radius ain't going to explore itself and there's a lot of work to be done. But that's all I got for now, guys, and I'll see you later.